Well, you no doubt heard this week of the passing of former 3rd District Congressman John Paul Hammerschmidt. The Harrison native and 13-term congressman died at the age of 93 after a brief illness. When Hammerschmidt retired from Congress in 1993, Channel 7 profiled the congressman and his career. He was first elected in 1966. He joined 51 other freshman Republicans, one of whom would become his friend and later president, George Bush. But I want to assure you that the Arkansas delegation works closely together. Hammerschmidt was assigned to the House Public Works and Transportation Committee during his first term. He is now the ranking Republican on the committee. He used his influence to bring committee members to Northwest Arkansas in 1990 to push for transportation developments, including a regional airport. The idea of building a regional airport here in Northwest Arkansas, I know it isn't new, but it was brought to my attention some two years ago, again, by Sam Walton. Ladies and gentlemen, Congressman John Paul Hammersmith. Hammerschmidt's resume shows he's won over 80 awards as a public servant. Those include 11 Watchdog of the Treasury Awards and Man of the Year in 1973 and Arkansas Citizen of the Year in 1991. But despite the personal awards and achievements of nearly 26 years in office, Hammerschmidt says it was serving the people he enjoyed and will miss. He also said it's time for changes in Congress. Uh, it's grown too big. I love the institution, but I think that we need to take a good look at it. I've always been for term limits. I'm still Reporting for Channel 7 News, I'm Edward Mertz. Term limits well, he was one of the most revered and respected political figures of the 20th century in Arkansas politics. Here's what some notable Arkansas political leaders had to say about him. From Asa Hutchinson, our current governor and former 3rd District Congressman, John Paul Hammerschmidt was an icon of Arkansas and Washington politics. For years, he was the lone Republican member of Arkansas's congressional delegation representing the 3rd Congressional District for 13 terms. As such, he balanced his conservative convictions with a unique ability to work across party lines and accomplish great things for the people of Arkansas. The state has lost a true statesman and a good man. From Senator John Bozeman, who also held the 3rd Congressional District seat, you would have been hard pressed to find a kinder, gentler man than John Paul Hammerschmidt. As a mentor and friend, John Paul's wisdom and counsel has shaped my time in Washington more than anyone else. It was John Paul who taught me that after the election is over, there are no more Republicans, no more Democrats, only the people of Arkansas. I hope his legacy will prompt more officials to keep the human element of public service in mind. And from former President Bill Clinton, who lost narrowly to John Paul Hammerschmidt in a 1974 congressional race, I am saddened by the passing of John Paul Hammerschmidt. I learned a lot about people and politics when we ran against each other in 1974. The biggest factor in his victory was how hard he had worked to help the people he represented with their individual problems. I hope his legacy will prompt more officials to keep the human element of public service in mind. Expect to see and read much more about Hammerschmidt in the next few weeks.